Now that you guys are back from your beach vacations, it's time to drag that planter out of the shed, into the shop, and get ready for plant 2022. I'm Aaron, and this is Colin, and today we're gonna be doing a quick dive into some of the most important areas you need to be looking at on your planter to set yourself up for a trouble-free season. Up and down, left and right, that's no bueno. No bueno. It's time to take a look at those parallel arms and bushings to check for loose bolts. Let's be honest, it's probably best to just go ahead and spend the money, send our meters in to our dealer every few years, whether it be precision planning, John Deere, you name it. Have them check out that meter. But on those off years, we need to be checking things like belts in our finger pickup meters, or vacuum or air pressure at the meter, if that's applicable to our planners. Also inspect any seed plates and also any knockoff wheels or brushes that could be inside that meter as well. Those puppies don't last forever. However, a little bit of TLC and the same amount of luck, you can get quite a few years out of those chains. If you replace a worn out stiff chain, remember to take a look at those sprockets as well. Remember that coulter last year that we smacked a big old rock with it and there's a big chunk missing out of it? Let's go ahead and replace that one. For any of the other ones, Get your tape measure, let's measure the diameter, make sure they're still in spec, and also check any bearings. And that's gonna be for a two by two coulter or a no-till coulter hanging off the front. These are gonna be similar to the coulters. Make sure we didn't do any, any major damage last year and just check the wear points on those teeth. Also check for bearings so that you don't have to call up your favorite parts guy at midnight on a Saturday to get it with a locked up row. When it comes to gauge wheels, make sure you don't have any big chunks missing out of the rubber. Also check your clearance between the gauge wheel and the disc opener. Make sure the rubber on that gauge wheel is just kissing that opening disc. Just a little bit of contact. Lastly, get yourself some 2x4 blocks. Set them underneath the gauge wheels on all the row units. Adjust your depth handles to make sure that you've got uniform depth all the way across that planter. And also, if you haven't done this before, check out our BEX PFR report titled Indexing Your Planter. There's a link to the video below. While you've got those gauge wheels off, grab a tape measure and a few business cards. We need to check the diameter of those openers to make sure we don't have a gap big enough to drive a Mack truck through there. Just insert the business card on the top and the bottom and measure the contact distance between them. A general rule of thumb would be inch and a half to two inches long. Think back to your childhood and playing at the park, sliding smoothly down your favorite slide, your mm. favorite slide. We want the same experience for that seed coming out of the meter and hitting the seed tube, a nice glide down. What we don't want is a worn out seed tube with a curl on the end of it, and it's gonna shoot that seed out. Just imagine like those videos you see on YouTube of people going down water slides and just launching out into the water. That's, that's what that seed's gonna be doing. That kinda looks kinda fun. But while we're in there too, let's also take a look at those seed tube guards, and if they're worn down to any narrower than three quarters of an inch, let's go ahead and replace those as well. Just like tucking your kids into bed, the seed firmer is doing the same exact thing with that seed in the seed trench, giving us better seed to soil contact. If the seed firmer's got too much tension, it's gonna drag that seed. If it doesn't have enough tension, it's not gonna work properly. And if they're wore out, they need to be replaced. Similar to the row unit, we don't want a bunch of slop on that closing wheel tail. So take a look at that. Also, check your bearings along with the spacing between your wheels. That's something that's easily overlooked. Each, each wheel is gonna be different on the spacing it needs, so that's something you're gonna have to look at. And if it's time to replace those closing wheels, ditch the solid rubbers. Whoa, look at that. How did you do that? You try it. Okay. Whoa, that's insane. It's PFR proven that any aftermarket closing wheel is better than two solid rubbers. What do I do with these things now? You're incredible. <laughs> we like to call these last three things easy to forget things. The ones you don't really think about until you're leaving the barn lot. Guilty of that one. Guilty, guilty, guilty. Hopefully you've properly flushed your fertilizer system with water and winterized with a quality antifreeze before you put it up last year. Here's some things to check on fertilizer systems for plant 2022. Make sure your screens and filters are clean, along with any other check valves or diaphragms. Last thing to do before we fill that tank with fertilizer is to run some water through there. We want to get out all that antifreeze and check for any leaks and blockages. Yep. One of the easiest things you can do, check your tire pressures. You know, research suggests that tire pressure can affect yields, and that's actually something we're taking a look at. Whether you do it yourself or your dealer is nice enough to swing by and do it for you, make sure we get those software updates done before heading to the field. Nobody likes sitting in the corner of the field, unfolded, waiting on a software update. All right, guys, so this was a quick dive into planter maintenance, but remember, any time that you spend on that planter now is time you aren't spending working on it in the field when time is money. 
Thanks for watching, guys. We hope you learned just a little bit on, the, on this video, and stay tuned for more. Wait, more? I thought, thought this was it. We were done. Oh, you have to say that, yeah. Smash if you that. like this video, smash that subscribe right. button. Right. Let's be honest, those things aren't gonna... No, that's the chains. That's the chains. chains yep. Should we switch? Do you wanna talk about chains? <laughs> yeah, there you go. <laughs> Thanks for watching, guys. Stay tuned for the next video. And make sure to smash that subscribe button. <laughs>